hello welcome into the channel this is sage sunset healing tarot thank you for being here and i do hope you are doing well in this time so we're going to take a look at some general messages for you because these are general messages all of the messages may not apply to all of you so take what applies and let it the rest fly well i just take it that if you are here you um, must have seen the title and the title resonates with you too so this message is for you um before we get into it i want to say thank you so much for showing your support on the channel by liking the video sharing it with those you love and for subscribing to the channel your support is abundantly appreciated okay <clears throat> this message is for divine feminine i feel divine masculine is dead to you and that may be harsh to say, but I feel he's dead to you. And it's already done. I feel like Divine Masculine had an opportunity to save himself. But he was still stuck in his pride, his ego and lower natures. I feel like he couldn't rise up out of it. It's Divine Masculine. I feel he tried. He didn't want to be deserted or left alone. He really did try to, you know, introspect to feel out the energy, but the, to feel out the energy to see what he could do to change, to change the sadness. But his ego got the better of him and he thought he would be better alone. Like, go, I don't need you kind of energy. And so, you know, Divine Feminine decided, you know what, you're dead to me. And I'm moving forward. It's already done. It's divine Feminine has decided. It's almost like she's moving villages. It's like she's leaving this Divine Masculine in this land that she knows will not prosper without her. And I feel like she's been warning him all along. Like, we've got to do this. We've got to go. But he's stubborn, this Divine Masculine. He's like, you know what? I'm staying here. This is the land of my birth. Or this is what I'm used to. I'm staying here. And he wouldn't listen to her. He just would not listen. He wouldn't go along with her. And so she moved on. And come to find out. So like I say, I feel like the Divine Feminine switched villages. Or it's like she packed up her things and she left him alone there in the, on his throne. Literally alone, smiling, still in his ego. Clothed by his wealth, feeling safety, safe, safe, secure in his wealth throne. And I feel like Divine Feminine was like, listen, whatever tsunami is going to come, you're not going to survive it. And he, he doesn't want to leave his, his wealth. It is his stability, his, his foundation, this materialistic thing that he holds on to it's kind of sad getting into the van masculine's energy i don't maybe not sad but it's it's the let me tell you it is sad it's the energy of uh what's that movie of any king that decides to stay in a land or in a state where they know or they were being warned it's going to be destroyed. It's not going to work. I'm going to leave you. And they still decide to stay. It's the energy of um, the mummies. The mummy. <laughs> where the, the guy got trapped in the tombs. Because he didn't want to leave the treasure behind. He would prefer to stay. And it's so. It's honestly hurtful to the divine feminine. To realize that he had. It's like he's so emotionless. He would prefer to stay in this materialistic realm than to listen to her and come with her. He wants her to stay there, but she knows it's not going to work. She's in her divine intuition. She knows that it's going under. And he wouldn't the fuck mind if she went under with him. He's almost like he's just so out of himself that he thought that. It's like she, he could not see at all what she was saying. He couldn't see beyond him being in this state of this um, physical materialistic wealth vibration. He couldn't see beyond possessing these things and owning these treasures. 
he couldn't let it go. And disappointedly, Liva and Feminine had to walk away, celebrating as well, yes. And she had to move on. And it was like, it's really kind of sad to leave him in the village because she's like, you know, the energy, even in the mummy, where after they left out of the tomb, it's sank into the sands. You know, it's so sad that she feels like this is what's going to happen to Divine Feminine after she leaves. He's going to sink into the sand. She knows his fate or the fate of this entire situation. And he's blindly, I wish I could tell you how blindly, I, I, he's decided to bury himself, literally. He's as if he can't really see past anything else except this world. It's the energy of the, the mummy that he decided to become a mummy. Oh, it's, it's that energy. Divine Masculine decided to stay with the world. I'm, yeah, I'm repeating myself. Than to move, than to listen to Divine Feminine's intuition. To make a change or to do this or whatever. He would not listen. There's just so much more I want to say about how he's not listening. It has a lot to do with his disconnection to... With? What is it? He feels like he has accomplished it all. Like, this is it. I can now sit on this throne. And she's like, she, she, Divine Feminine, you feel there's more. There's something other. But he is comfortable there, content, felicity, prosperity. Because he feels like he's at the pinnacle, like this is where I've, I've made it to the top. Listen, why can't you let me be happy and celebrate and relax here? But she's like, that's what he's saying. And she's telling him, no, this is not it. Something is off. Something is wrong. Or there's more. He decided, he decided to stay. It's the energy of someone who literally went insane and decided to stay in this tomb with this gold, these possessions, even though it's going to sink. Anyway, Divine Feminine deserted, um, aborted this mission. She decided to, like I say, pack up her things and exit this village, whatever things that was. It feels like she took the dirt and maybe I just feel like earth moving with the ace of wands. You know, it's like only thing I can feel is the earth. That, that's what she took. And then she left. And then the most beautiful thing comes to find out. I don't know if I'm saying this with enough emphasis or enthusiasm. Maybe I'm not. But comes to find out. After the Van Feminine leaves this village and starts to maybe create something new of her own. Come to find out. Divine Feminine is the sun. That's the energy I'm getting. Like, we're going to find out that the sun is feminine all along. So all along, you're like waiting for masculine to make a decision or whatever. But it, it like you're going to realize that feminine is the sun or the sun is feminine. That's going to be a great realization. Whatever that means. It means, I feel like it just means that the sun is is feminine like the sun is feminine that's how i feel and it's like it's and because of this realization there's great it's like a great awakening and great change like the a veil has been lifted off how life should be it's like a new perspective when hearing that the sun is feminine people feel more free honestly it's like thank god <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's like new earth feels like, thank God we're finding out the sun is feminine because I knew something must be different here. And so it's like looking forward to living in love. Not that masculine is not love, but it's like people feel relieved of um, a certain oppression or pressure. You know, the energy of working for this boss versus this boss. And then you hear like this one is going to be your supervisor. And you, and you go, oh, thank God, this is the one that's going to rule over us. Thank God it's this energy and not that one. But especially because of the experience of that one, how brightly it shines, how it burns, how it oppresses. I don't know, how it takes your energy, you know. So that's what I have for you in this message. Thanks for coming through. 
I hope you found some that resonates with you and is able to help you along your journey. If you did on your way out, hit the like button, share the video by hitting share. You can share it to your WhatsApp, Facebook, and your other blogs or groups. Your support is appreciated abundantly. Um, much love to you out there. Remember that you're all, all is within you. You can be, do, have everything and anything in this world you desire. And with the sun energy here, I just want to tell you that your dreams are coming true. You know, feel alive. Take care. Bye. Mm -hmm. <clears throat>